Welcome to Tuesday's Thought for the Day. Uh, I'd like to pick up further on uh, what Terry said yesterday, as he, in a sense, built on what I said on Friday about anger. And I really appreciate uh, his, his build, his, in a sense, challenge to any suggestion that I might have made that anger is always wrong. Uh, he, he's, he said, quite rightly, there is, there is a, a righteous anger. He, said, he pointed out that Jesus himself was angry. And as I sort of listened to his talk and thought about it, I was reminded that the, the Bible says, well, St. Paul writes in the, his letter to the Ephesians, in your, in your anger, do not sin. So it's not the anger that's, not anger itself that's wrong, but, it is, it, that, but within our anger, our anger can lead us into places of sin. So it is possible, quite possi possible from the Bible's understanding, Jesus' understanding of anger, to see an anger that is, that is righteous. And as Terry said, in, in the face of injustice, love is angry. In the face of wrong in our society, love and compassion, uh, concern for justice is angry. That's, that's the right way, that's the right response. Uh, I was, I thought very helpful that somebody posted a, a comment on Terry's video uh, saying that God wants to use all our emotions for his good and, and anger, anger is one of the things he's given us. It's a God-given emotion. So it's not wrong in itself and if anyone got that impression for what I said in, on Friday, I want to totally agree with Terry that that's, that that's not what I should have said, it's certainly not what, what, I, what I meant. But I think we need to recognise too that, that anger is, although it's, it, it's not wrong, it is dangerous. Um, it's, it, I, I, I stand by what I said, it said on Friday, that, that anger is very good at identifying a problem. It's not so good, or very good at recognising that there is a problem. It's no good, not so good at diagnostically saying what the problem is, and particularly not good at saying what our response should be. So the, the model I was thinking of as I was listening to Terry's uh, talk uh, yesterday was that anger, a righteous anger, provides the energy, the motive power. It's like, it, it's the, it's like the, the accelerator pedal for reacting against injustice and wrong in society, wrong in, in, in various, various places in our world. But it's not a very good steering wheel. So I wonder if we could think of anger as, as the accelerator, the motive power, the engine. But grace, God's grace, as a steering wheel. So anger says, that is really wrong. And God's grace says, go there in grace. Go there in grace. Do, do, the, do the, the brave and righteous and risky thing in grace. Bring grace into this situation. Challenge the greedy or the unjust, the oppressor, challenge those, but do it in grace. Show them that there is a God who loves them, a God who longs for them to respond to him. Show them that there is a God of justice too, but do it, do it, do it in grace. And, and again, I, please don't, don't hear me saying, we shouldn't stand up against these things. We shouldn't campaign, campaign against injustice. We shouldn't campaign against the, the, the things that we're doing to our world. Uh, we absolutely should. Love, love says, stand up and be counted. But maybe grace tells us how to do that. Grace is, is a steering wheel. Grace is the, the way of doing it. As we show the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, as we persistently stand up for truth and justice. And so that in our anger we, we won't sin, but rather our anger will lead us to stand up for love in, in more powerful and wonderful ways. So I think this may be... From my perspective, the last word on anger, Terry may have more to say on Thursday. I have to see how, how he responds to this. But I, I think this is a really good conversation as we think about this strange, powerful, dangerous, but also God-given emotion that we have of, of anger.
that can be used for such great purposes, but can also be, be very dangerous. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, God bless you, and I'll talk to you again on Friday.